So this is just a quick tip talking about some of the nuances of loading levels um, and keeping game objects persistent from one level to the next. Um, this has a lot of implications um, if you ultimately are building multiple level scenes. A um, question came up in class yesterday um, about load levels um, and how to manage loading one level into the next. So if you um, have a standalone uh, level that's your game menu that you want to advance to a playable level or transitioning from one level to the next. Um, this is just kind of a brief overview of some of the basics and, and I'll uh, point out some of the couple of the nuances of this. Now um, the setup for this is I, I have two uh, example levels. I have a LVL underscore load zero one and an LVL underscore load zero two. So this, these are the demo scenes that I'm going to use for this uh, demonstration. And um, very simple. This is the uh, uh, level one example. So again, it's the it's the load zero one, uh, and I'll just open up level two, and you can see that we have a little bit of text, and we just have two different cubes. It'll be very obvious when we change scenes. So I'm going to jump back to uh, level one. So I'm going to use Playmaker to um, build just a really simple uh, button press mechanic to advance from level one to level two. So of course you can execute this kind of logic on on um, in any state machine, but I'll just build something really simple. So I'm going to create an empty game object and I'm going to call this my uh, level manager for now. And I'll build a real simple two state state machine. Uh, we'll have state one and this will just be uh, a simple idle state. I'll add a second state and this will be the uh, load level action. So in level one, we're going to sit and listen uh, for a key press. So I'm going to build just a real simple transition event, um, call it load next level. And we'll add that as a transition from the idle state to load level. So from idle, uh, what I'll do is just listen for a uh, simple get key down. I like to use the get key down. Try that again. Not sure why that's not adding. Let me see here. Switch states and try to double click and add. There we go. Not sure why that was flickering like that. Um, but I'm going to listen to uh, for the spacebar. And when we get spacebar input, uh, we'll transition to load next level. So this is testable. I'm just going to test the state machine. Um, so I'm waiting for idle, press the spacebar, and we go to load level. Um, so in the load level state, what we'll do is we'll go into the level category. Uh, in Playmaker. So I'm looking for level. There it is. And what we'll do is just a quick and simple load level. Now there's a couple of different options. Uh, we can load level based on the level name. And again, the, the level name, this is all case sensitive, and we got to be very accurate with the naming convention here. I'm going to load LVL underscore load zero two. So I'll type that in uh, the, the level name LVL underscore load zero two. Um, so this is the level that I'm going to load. Now there's some other options here we'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to get an error if I try to run this. And the, and the reason is um, that by default in my build settings, I don't have any scenes added. So um, when we're inside Unity um, and we're testing whatever level we have, when we do a file build or, or build settings and try to build uh, our current project, it's going to um, by default just build whatever scene we have open. But the moment that we get into loading multiple scenes um, in our game, we need to actually add those to the scenes in build. So again, in Unity, I'm in file build settings, and I just need to drag the scenes in that I want to reference. And so uh, I'll drag level one in first, and I'll drag the load level two in second. Now these um, will load in top-down order unless we control them in some way. So I'm making sure that load this level load one, the scene that I'm looking at, is uh, in the top of this hierarchy. Of course, you can drag them around and kind of switch them up. I uh, just want to make sure that load level one uh, is the first scene. Um, and so now once I have that, um, I, I won't shouldn't get an error. So I'll press the play button and I'll tap the space bar and you can see that we load level two. So um, so we're looking at level one with a blue cube. I'll double click and now I have level two with a red cube. And so I'll go back to load level one. And uh, when I preview this, because I have those two scenes um, 
built into uh, the scene builds and I have this simple level manager that's listening for uh, spacebar from the user. I'll tap the spacebar and you can see that it loads level two. Now we have a couple of different options. Um, I'll just jump back to my level manager here. And uh, so our get key down is working the way that we want to. So I'll focus on the load level for a minute. Um, we have a couple of different options um, when it comes to loading content. Um, there is additive. Um, so if I check the uh, additive, uh, that will load one level into another. Um, and so we'll, that, that can be a good thing if you manage your levels effectively. Um, in the case of, of level one and level two that I'm using the demo scene, there is a little bit of redundancy in here um, in that um, there's duplicate you know, cameras and lights and, and, and that could cause a little bit of a problem. Um, but just for the sake of the demo, I'll uh, keep all of this information uh, just uh, included. Tap the space bar. Um, so I am increasing the illumination because it's loading the entire scene uh, in um, as additive. So we got, you can see here in our hierarchy, we get duplicates of everything that's in level one uh, is maintained. Uh, and in level two, everything, uh, it loads everything from level two. So let me toggle that play button one more time and I'll uncheck additive and I'll hit the play button and you can see what's going on over here in the hierarchy. Tap the space bar. Looks like it's still loading. Uh, additive. So let me just double check to make sure I turn that additive off. Try that one more time. Okay, so now you can see that in the hierarchy, um, we're loading from level one to level two. Okay, so there's some, there's some advantages and disadvantages to loading uh, content as additive. It basically just takes whatever is in that scene that you're trying to load and adds it to the existing scene. Um, there are some other options uh, in that I can actually um, flag things to not uh, be destroyed on loading a new scene. For example, right now, um, level load one gets completely dumped uh, unless we do additive. Um, so we lose the level one ground, we lose the level one text, and we lose this uh, big blue cube, um, and, and it loads everything in the contents of, of level two. If I jump back into level one and I select this blue cube, I'll just add a state machine really quickly and I'll let everything default, but I'll use state one and I'll use this don't destroy on load command. Double click and uh, this don't destroy on load looks at the, in this case, the, the game object is the owner, so it's the blue cube. And I'll just test this out. So hit the play button, tap the space bar, uh, and you'll notice that blue cube stays. Now the difference is that we have a don't destroy on load, so that um, was the only thing that was kept from level one, uh, was this um, blue cube. So it didn't keep the entire level one scene, it loaded uh, level two, but kept the stuff that we tagged as don't destroy on load. So it's just kind of a quick overview of, of the different ways to manage levels. Um, the key is to remember to make sure that in your build settings um, that you have the levels loaded uh, in your uh, scenes in build. Uh, make sure that those are all referenced there. Uh, and it's always best when you're trying to wrap your head around, you know, kind of new tools and new concepts. I would always recommend uh, building some simple test scenes like this that are obvious. So rather than uh, a very complicated scene, uh, just mock up something very simple. There's really dramatic changes so you can see the effects and kind of manage those. Um, so that's it. That's just a quick tip for today to cover some stuff that popped up in class yesterday. And uh, contact me if you have any questions.